I am all about things that save me time. I do not have a labor-intensive makeup routine. I don't buy clothes that require ironing. And due to hair loss, I wear wigs every single day. I'm a huge fan of a quick throw-and-go synthetic, but lately I have been super frustrated with the fact that my favorite shades are primarily available only in heat-friendly fibers. And they look clumpy like a rat's nest, even with proper care within a few wears. Not to mention, I feel like I am flushing money down the toilet at an incredibly fast rate because the lifespan of the heat-friendly synthetic wigs are relatively short. So, when Wixie reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to provide an honest review of their human hair wigs, I decided it was time for Spare Hair Love Affair to take the opportunity to produce a video and provide some educational content on a human hair wig. Now, I have read and I have heard that reviewers always give an inflated view of a product when they receive it for free. Well, personally, I can assure you that the content within this video is based upon my honest impressions of this product. I have included footage of the unboxing, styling before washing, air drying the product in its natural state, and then showing you some footage of it restyled differently, like you see it right now. So if you are interested in exploring a human hair wig which costs less than many of the name brand synthetics currently on the market, stay with me and I'll be right back. Hi there, and thanks for joining me today on Spare Hair Love Affair. My name is Veronica. Although I own several human hair wigs, and I hands down think they are the most luxurious and natural styles that I own, I wasn't really keen on the care that human hair pieces require. So I had made the switch to synthetic wigs for daily wear. Unfortunately, I am finding that as of late, my heat defiant wigs are requiring even more care than my human hair wigs are increasing in price and don't last nearly as long. Needless to say, I have been bringing human hair wigs back into my wig rotation. Now, Wigxi is an overseas company based in China that essentially cuts out the middleman by manufacturing and selling its wigs directly to consumers. The hair used is 100% Remy human hair, which means it is collected directly from a hair donor with the cuticle still intact. Wigxi's hair is ethically sourced, which is something that is very important to me. In communications with their representative, I was told that their hair donors are all voluntary and are compensated at fair market price for their hair. East Asian hair is typically straight and silky with a fine texture. I think that this is a very good description of the type of hair that I personally received. Wixi's website allows for complete customization, but if you are someone who is accustomed to exclusively wearing synthetic wigs, there are a few things that you need to know. First of all, most human hair wigs come one length, without layers, without bangs, parted in the middle. You are going to need to cut the lace front on your human hair wig she wig. And unless you like your hair one length, you're going to have to have her cut and then style her to your liking. Human hair wigs don't usually come ready to wear like synthetics unless you are buying from a company that offers custom styling services. And maybe you have read things like, that wig that lady is wearing on Instagram doesn't even look close to the one in the picture on the website. No, it doesn't. It's not going to. The owner probably had it cut. Maybe she curled it. Human hair wigs are unique. There are slight color variations. Textures are not identical as donors are, are all unique. Among synthetic wigs, I think that manufacturers reserve something like a 10% variance among their mass manufactured pieces. But I would wager to say that the variance among human hair pieces like those made by Wigxi is much greater than that, as each wig has at least the front and top of her that is completely handmade and hand-tied. So there are bound to be differences in handcrafted products. Human hair wigs do not have permatease, but they are going to have something most likely called return hairs. And they are little short hairs that might show when the hairs are knotted onto the base. All hand knotted wigs that are human hair have return hairs because it is how that hair is actually connected to the cap. Um, it's not a defect, neither is it indicative of short hairs being used to artificially add density to a wig. 
Also, your wig is going to look very different most likely after you wash it, and it's going to require styling on your part to look amazing again. You cannot just give a human hair wig a shake and hang it upside down in the shower like you would a synthetic wig. But with proper care, a human hair wig can last years. I suggest investing in some high quality salon products, a good moisturizing oil, and a canvas head if you don't have one. It makes the styling so much easier. A couple of the things that I consider higher end features that wig she wigs provide are tiny single knots, which are really natural, invisible lace that basically melts into your skin, and a pre-plucked hairline, which provides amazing realism. So let me get a little closer and kind of show you what I'm talking about here. This hairline is absolutely undetectable. And I didn't have to touch it. With the exception of cutting my lace, nothing had to be done to this. I am in natural sunlight right now. Um, no artificial lights above me at all. Within the WigShe website, you will see that the majority of wigs have a number associated with the styles. I was intrigued by the idea that I could request a custom color, so that is what I did. And the wig I'm going to share with you today is now known as Ashy Blonde Wavy Medium Length Human Hair Swiss Lace Wig, otherwise known as Wig 071. So, if you are into this color, which is a dead ringer for the lovely synthetic shade, Shaded Biscuit, this is the wig shade you would select. Please note, it is $15 more than the standard colors, which is, in my opinion, insanely inexpensive for a custom color. I have paid upwards of $300 for the same service on other human hair wigs. Her length ranges from 12 inches to 22 inches. I ordered a 16 inch wig, but probably would have been better off ordering a 14 inch as I had a couple inches cut off. It comes with automatic HD invisible lace. Density choices are 120% or 150%. I selected 120%. You have your choice of a lace front cap or a full lace cap. I chose the lace front cap. In terms of cap construction, you can choose between average, small, or large. In this area, you'll also find a size chart with your dimensions included right there. I have a 21.5 inch circumference and the average fits me perfectly on the tightest adjuster. The coverage on the sides is amazing and you can also put your exact dimensions in the special request box. Wigshe provides the option of lightly bleached or fully bleached knots. Due to the color of this wig, I chose lightly bleached knots. Generally, that's my recommendation because fully bleached knots tend to compromise the quality or the integrity of the hair, making it more fragile. You need to know that each of these wigs is made when you order it, as none of them are in-stock items. So expect about 40 days from the time you place your order until your wig is shipped to you. Previous reviewers had discussed that wig boxes arrived somewhat damaged. Wigshe took that feedback and made beautiful improvements to their packaging. Not only is it aesthetically beautiful, it's very sturdy and mine arrived in excellent condition. Within the box, a wig came in a satin bag with a thank you note and a wig grip. The hair is incredibly silky and smooth and the color is extremely dimensional. The only negative thing I have to say at this point is that the hair has a pretty strong smell of hair color, which is not that unusual given how light of a color this piece is. I watched a number of reviews on Wig She Wigs prior to ordering mine, and one of the things I noted was that color was a real struggle for the company at the onset. Many reviewers were not satisfied with the way the company represented their colors on the website, or the significant difference between what they thought they were getting and what they actually received. So I decided to go another route with Wigshi and to provide them with inspiration photos of my favorite synthetic shape. Communication was exceptional and we went back and forth until we felt like we had gotten things right. Because Wigshi is located in Hong Kong, there is a time difference from the United States, but my communication with them was always stellar and a representative answered me very quickly in the evening. I'm in the central time zone in the US. In this regard, I was completely blown away. Wigshi nailed the color I was going for.
I cut the lace, had my stylist cut long layers into the wig, and she also trimmed off about two inches. I decided to style the wig before washing to see how the hair would hold a curl, and I was really pleasantly surprised. This style was created using a wand, curling iron, and a thermal heat protectant, and I didn't use any other styling products. I had posted a short video clip of when I styled my wig she wig like this on Instagram and my YouTube shorts, and somebody commented that the hair looked dull and dry. Please note that in reality, the hair is truly soft and supple. I had done a bit of tousling with my fingers at the roots, which might have produced some flyaways in these photos and on the short video. I'm not a professional hairstylist, but these just happen to be my personal favorites in terms of the products I use on my human hair wigs, and they're what I use to wash my wig she wig. They are Redken's Frizz Dismiss Shampoo, Olaplex 4-in-1 Moisture Mask, Whey Leave-In Conditioner, Whey Hair Oil, and La Ange Thermal Protectant Spray. Human hair wigs most often look very different right after washing. In its natural state, the hair on my wig she wig dried slightly late after I allowed it to air dry on a wig stand. The hair had a slight frizz to its texture, which is not unusual given the fact that this is Chinese hair, which was originally dark in color, and that the color has been lifted many, many levels to achieve this icy blonde shape. Unless you are purchasing Remy European hair, which is naturally light in color, and which tends to cost thousands of dollars. This minor frizz is typical, totally workable, and what you can expect from a very light blonde human hair wig. What was remarkable was that there was literally no shedding while washing and no tangling at all, suggesting to me that this is absolutely 100% Remy human hair. This wig offers an ear-to-ear -ear lace front, which extends approximately six inches deep. There are clips located at both ear tabs for added security, which may be removed if desired, as well as combs at the nape and the crown. The wig has straps so that it may be adjusted for the most secure fit. The back of the cap consists of closed wefting, and the coverage for this 120% density wig is very, very good. Overall, here are my thoughts. My wig she wig is glueless and beginner friendly. Now, lots of companies advertise this, especially on less expensive human hair wigs, but this wig is truly glueless and well constructed. It has one of the best lace fronts I have seen, even among my human hair wigs that I have paid $2,000 for, and it provides a really incredibly comfortable cap. However, Wigshi is an overseas vendor. There's a 12 hour time difference for customer service interaction for customers in the US. So you have got to be prepared also to wait a while for your wig to be manufactured. In terms of returns and exchanges, the buyer is responsible for shipping and there's a 10% restocking fee for most orders. If a custom order is canceled, 40% of the cost will not be refunded. I would like to thank Wigshi for sending me this wig and giving me the opportunity to review this piece. Personally, I admire Wigshi for soliciting ongoing feedback for its products and for making improvements based on that feedback. I own five human hair wigs with which to compare this Wigshi wig, all of which were twice the price of the piece Wigshi sent me. I hear so many reviewers classifying Wigshi as a fantastic budget-friendly option. Well, it is budget friendly in terms of human hair wigs, but it also has the same features and cap construction as the second most expensive wig in my personal collection, which I paid an additional $300 custom color service fee for. That wig retailed for almost $2,000 US dollars. As with all human hair pieces, time is going to be the ultimate determining factor in terms of durability and lifespan for this wig. But I can tell you, I have washed my wig she wig twice, allowed her to air dry, blown her dry with a hair dryer once, and heat styled her three different ways. 
The hair responds exactly the same way that my other human hair wigs with this cap construction and this type of hair do. I plan on making a follow-up video a few months from now to update you on her. So if you are considering adding a human hair wig to your collection, I really would encourage you to seriously give Wigshe a try. There are so many recent reviews and video clips for Wigshe on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook that you're likely to find a style that provides you some inspiration. If not, you can always go completely custom with Wigshe and feel like you're going couture without the price tag. I don't know about you, but when HD synthetic fibers are routinely costing over $400, requiring tremendous care and not providing a whole lot of longevity, checking into human hair wigs seems like a viable option. Now, Wigshi gave me a coupon code, Veronica, to share with you. And this code will save you 10% on their website, which is actually a very nice savings. I hope this review has been helpful. If it has, I would ask you to please hit that like and subscribe button. And remember, you don't owe anyone an explanation for why you choose to feel confident. So wear that wig and wear it proudly. And I will see you next time on Spare Hair Love Affair. Thanks for watching. Bye.